what's up guys welcome to the channel thank you so much for tuning in today guys um, this video is not gonna be a car review at the moment um, the next video will be so tune into that one uh, right off the bat this is gonna be something for the LVAD patients um, or heart patients or any patient really going through anything this can relate to anybody that's going through a major surgery not just heart stuff all right the first thing is guys for my LVAD patients or anything if they recommend the first thing is if they recommend an LVAD take it serious um, I didn't take it serious I'll be completely honest because I was believing that I was gonna be healed and I'm a believer and I was believing I was gonna be healed and that uh, I just didn't want it I didn't want I didn't want a pacemaker I didn't want anything I just I'm gonna be better I don't need it so uh, when they told me I needed it I just couldn't accept it I just thought they just want my money you know this one I, I got good in health insurance I was very naive and I wasn't doing my research um, and I didn't do my sorry for the shake there um, I didn't do my research diligently I didn't do my due diligence I did some research but once I read the, the it's like whenever you look at something on Google and you know you have a cold what are the symptoms of the cold next thing you know this is cancer and you know all these type of things and I'm like oh great so I didn't once I read about the LVAD the first two sentences I just shut down the window um, so my point is my first thing is, is understand is these doctors they're the team of doctors that decide you need an LVAD it isn't just one doctor so it isn't the opinion of one it's the opinion of it's a, it's a scientific opinion or pretty much I guess you could say medical opinion they go through you have a board it's like two doctors two nurse practitioners I mean everybody has to have a, a certain uh, experience and like nurses and everybody from different all walks of the field have to agree upon that you need an LVAD and if they said it you, you need it all right that's the first thing so accept that get over that and don't dwell on that negativity that why me we're humans we automatically start thinking why 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 me why me why me we always do it and, you know you can say oh I don't do that but you know you do all right we all do it it's just it's the second nature we're gonna do it and um, and you have every right to do that but don't dwell on it for more than you know don't dwell on it for months you know you only got a limited time here with this situation here so you need to quickly move on past that and that goes on to the to next thing is mentally being prepared all right be mentally prepared for the after the surgery all right so this is the second reason it's transitioning over be mentally prepared for the surgery wait phrase that if not being mentally pre prepared for the surgery mentally prepared for after the surgery all right guys yes going up you got to be prepared for the sur surgery but after this but think about it you're going to be out for the surgery okay it's just going to be like that you won't even know you're going to go to sleep you're going to sleep great and you're going to wake up that's when the battle starts because you got to start learning how to walk you got to start doing all these different things um moving around mobility uh, eating which may be harder than you think um getting out of it's gonna be very tiring you're on new medication whatever the situation is towards your your health if not just all bad patients just anybody you got to think about the positive I'm gonna get my quality of life back I'll be able to do this again I'll be able to do that again I'll be able to do this again you'll be able to do a lot of things don't think about the negativity side of it like I'm in pain right now and why is this still happening to me if you're constantly dwelling on the negative believe me it's gonna be a rough ride all right so make sure you look past that look look towards how am I gonna get out of this bed how am I gonna walk how am I just think of it that way if you're an athlete you know what I'm talking about if you're not and you know think of it like a, a meeting or something I gotta focus on what I gotta do you gotta work you know what I mean I, I got a job to do and that's what you need to do it needs to be um, you need to be focused and motivated to, need, to get up and do better for yourself after the surgery all right the third thing and these are, there's a two-part thing here and it goes basically to this it's the patients and um, the patients that support uh, from the patient and the family members family and friends all right those are the very two things all right so the first one patients so that's me talking to the patients all right the guy that's in the bed the lady that's in the bed all right be patient with your loved ones they do not they, they may not Know what's going on you know they like for example some people have had heart surgery my mother had a, a stroke so she couldn't understand some some part of it but my wife probably couldn't understand because she's never had a surgery in her life and um, I, I would lose patience very quickly because I'm just like why don't you why don't you understand me why why don't you sympathize with me you know these type of things you got to be patient because they don't understand either and 
they're going through a hard time as well. So you gotta be patient and be fair, all right? I know it hurts. I know whatever you're going through hurts. I don't know mentally it hurts. Just be patient with your family members. Love them, all right? And let them know and assure them everything's gonna be okay on their end. I mean, you know, on your end, because that's what they're worried about. They're worried about you. So be patient with them, you know, and assure them you, you gotta be their strength too. If they see, if people see that you are being strong in the moment of your, you know, at your lowest point right now physically, they they have it's such a motivational thing. They're so thorough. If I this glare, um, it is such a motivational thing because it shows your strength and it shows that you're doing so well considering all this going around you. And that's the very important thing is always being positive for your family members, all right? So please be patient with them. And um, I hope you guys are watching this before you guys go into your surgery. Um, this, and the other half of it now, and this is for the family. This is the most important one personally um, because I can sympathize with the patient. It's having family always being there, family and friends. Uh, a familiar face is, goes a long way. You have no idea. When you're in that hospital for a long time, um, or you're whatever, for weeks at a time, months at a time, depending on how long you've been in there, if you're seeing different faces all the time, um, it kind of stinks because you never, it's like you're alone. You know what I mean? You got to get to know that nurse again. You got to get to know that doctor again. There's no such thing as an inside joke if you just met the person, right? So that's the beauty of having a familiar face. When I was the first one in and I went into the um, ICU, the hurricanes in Florida hit about two years ago, and the um, nurses had to stay 48 hours. Nurses and doctors had to stay 48 hours. So it was really, it sucked for them because, you know, they don't get to go home and be with their families. They got to worry what's going on at home. You know, there's a lot of stuff going on, you know. But the selfish side of me was like, I get to actually see the nurses that I really do enjoy hanging out with. You know, there were some guide nurses and some other lady nurses that were really fun to talk to. And they were my age or they were just, they would shoot the breeze. And that's what I really liked. It was just having a conversation with somebody and it was great. Um, so why I get back to on point is, you know, visit your family members, your friends, have your friends, please go visit your friends and your family members and stuff like that in the hospital because they look forward to that. They look forward to seeing that familiar face, that inside joke that they don't get to have much. And it's great. All right. Um, and again, be patient. They're going through a mental, a really tough time mentally and physically. So you must, you got to understand that, that it's, it's very tough. They'll be patient. They may snap back while you're helping them get up, you know, because realistically you're going to be helping them at home and they may be a little bit patient because you know what? They're not nurses. So please be calm with it. I know for a fact I would get upset with my wife. I'd get annoyed or my mom, you know, though my mom is helping me out and doing the best she can, it's just that, you know, I'm just like, come on, why don't you guys understand this? And it's like, well, guys, you know, well, Michael, they don't really have an LVAD you know they don't have this type of they've never been through this type of thing so you must be patient with them and be loving at the same time um, and that's pretty much all I have guys Th those things all right so it's it's accept the LVAD accept accept what's given to you accept your cards and now get over that and move on to the next thing how am I gonna get out of this bed how am I gonna recover from this surgery how am I gonna recover how am I gonna get my life back like I was saying, I got cut off there, but you got to look toward basically how you're going to get your life back. Look at it as if um, the glass is half full. Don't look at it. Don't look at your situation like it's half empty. You got to you got to improve. All right. And the last thing is always be pa family members. Be patient with your family that's in bed and the patient who's in bed. Be patient with your family members. Remember, you guys right now are the most important things to each other. You guys are the motivational support. You guys are the rock. You basically are helping each other, all right? Always, always, always love each other. All right, guys? Well, that's my video, and um, I thank you so much. If you made it this far and you like these videos and um, you want to follow my journey, please like and subscribe, and um, I do my best. I'm very responsive in my comments, um, and it's really great to know that I can help somebody out, walk through their situation, help them walk through theirs. Cause I needed it when I was there. I just didn't really reach out um, to YouTube and Instagram. I didn't even think about that. I just was always looking around for people around me and they really couldn't relate because they never went through it. So 
going and reaching out to other areas for advice was really helpful. And um, so please reach out to me. And if you have any questions, I know people on the, are on the post as well that I've seen that are helping as well and commenting and reaching out to other people. Just like giving people a way to connect is great. So I thank you all again. Um, I'll see you guys later. I'm going to do a review on a, hopefully some uh, cars and we'll get that going. All right, guys, be blessed. I'll see you when I see you. Peace.